Turning us now to review some of the headlines of today's newspapers from around the world is Arise News Analyst, Emmanuel Malabai Tiffany. Good, <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Ruben. Good morning. Michael Malabai. <laughs> Action. Good morning, Rufai. Good morning, Mr. Fede. What's the plural for when you have two malabites together? What, what's the plural for Just it? Just add S, malabites. Malabites, <laughs> okay. Great. Yeah. Right. Adesua, good morning. Good morning. Yes. Let's start with this day newspapers, Nigeria's newspaper of records. The lead story, Lamido slams APC as Buni denies plot to fill Jonathan in 2023. Former governor says ruling party has divided Nigeria Interim chairman explains, no presidential aspiration being considered for now. Akonde dismisses membership revalidation registration, that is of APC, as wasteful exercise. Yes, this story emanated from the morning show yesterday, where Sule Lamido, um, former governor of Jigawa State, two-time governor, former foreign affairs minister, made this statement, but the APC has come out to say, well, we are not considering good luck a Billy Jonathan, one-time boss of Dr. Ruben Abati at the presidential villa. Well, to put all this to rest, if former President Jonathan steps out to say, well, I am not part of it, I'm sure this debate will be put to rest. But for now, Maybe it's also enjoying the limelight. Sometimes it's good to be in the limelight when people are just touting your names. But as we cruise to 2023, as one politician would say, in the fullness of time, we'll know who is contesting and who is not contesting. But whoever, con whoever wins in 2023, according to the Daily Independent newspaper of Nigeria, Next president will spend tenure fixing rot created by Buhari. According to Nyinson Wike, the governor of River State, he made a statement yesterday during the official presentation of letters of nomination to him for the 2020 Extraordinary Personality of the Year, of course, an award organized by the Silver Bird Group. So... That's according to Nyeson Wiki. I'm sure many will not agree with him. Perhaps in the next couple of days, he will get a repost. Daily Sun newspaper. Yes, the issue of the moment. Header, headsmen, communities, clashes, tension, anxiety in Oyo, Ogun, Edo, Abia. Women protest in Edo. Yes, at this one, the women in Edo are protesting. They say they cannot go to their farms again. In fact, if you read that story, they are saying that kidnapping. Well, Emmanuel Lefene. Yes. Emmanuel Lefene, let's yes. take a short break. Okay. When we return, we'll continue with the review of newspapers. We'll be right back. It's still the morning show. Welcome back to the morning show here on the Arise News Channel. Still with us is Emmanuel Efeni, reviewing top stories in today's newspapers from around the world. Efeni, back yes. to you. We're dealing with the Daily Sun newspaper, tension, anxiety in Oyo, Ogun, Edo, Abia. Women protest in Edo, say they can't go to farms again. In fact, the women uh, from Urumi in Essa, East local government area of Edo State, were in Benin City yesterday protesting, and they marched across the streets in Benin City, the state capital, demanding immediate eviction of headsmen from their area. And they are saying that some of the some of them are saying that they can no longer go to their farms for fear of being raped and killed by headers would take their cows to graze on cross. So there's tension all over, and I'm sure um, Governor Obaseki will also be listening to the women. Now, the Nigerian Tribune newspaper, quoting the Speaker of the 
House of Representatives. No ethnic group should lord it over the other. By Jabir Amila. Northern elders overheating the polity. Southern Middle Belt leaders. Buhari should not act as president of Fulani, according to Governor Samuel Otom of Benue State, Uromi women protest against killer headsmen. Suspected headsmen kill OPC member abduct farm, farmer in Undo. I have spoken with Fayemi over Ganduji's model, according to Femi Falana, senior advocate of Nigeria. Now, the nation newspaper can Islamic Council to DSS go after killers others. Secret police raise the alarm on plans to cause ethno-religious violence. And of course, a quote from that story, terrorists, bandits, kidnappers, and other criminals are not invisible. invisible. Things are becoming increasingly complicated daily. Criminals are operating as if our security agencies are on holiday. That's a statement from Khan and the Islamic Council. Now, if we look at um, the Daily Trust newspaper, today is World Cancer Day. Only three public radiotherapy centers in Nigeria. Patients decry high treatment costs, federal government to redeem care cent center pledge. Experts want treatment captured in NHIS. Of course, the New Telegraph newspaper, $20 billion crude on accounted for in seven years, according to the House of Representatives uh, a committee that carried out forensic audit of sales of crude oil. DPR boss, how cartel steals Nigeria oil panel, Chinese firm illegally got 5 billion naira weaver. Now, the foreign newspaper, if we go quickly to the UK, where the Times of London is reporting a very cherry news. Britain now passed peak of second wave. And of, this is according to uh, the chief medical officer of UK, Chris Whitty. And according to the report, the cases, cases, hospital admission and death were falling in all four nations of the United Kingdom, England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. So it's good news for the United Kingdom that all the effort, the lockdowns yielding result at last. And before long, the lockdown will be lifted. I'm sure many in the UK are looking forward to that. But the Daily Mail, to the Daily Mail has a story on Captain Sir Tom Tom, who passed away yesterday. And of course, they are clamoring for uh, a statue to be built in his honor. COVID-19 icon hero. Well, thank you very much, Emmanuel Efeni. Unfortunately, no, no time to uh, comment on some of the stories. But we know the point about today being World Cancer Day. And, uh, you know, treatment of cancer diagnosis mostly affected by the focus on COVID-19. But we hope that that will change. Thank you very much for those highlights.